Hello, hello, Crafty Crandall fam. I am so excited to be filming this video. In today's video, I am going to be finger painting. I know, I know, I'm a child, but it's gonna be so much fun and I've had this idea for so long and I just have not had the time to go to the art store to buy the materials for it. So I finally did that. We are going to do a short art haul and then we will hop into the painting. If you don't care to see what I got, I will leave a timestamp for you down below so you can skip to the fun part where we actually do some painting. But if you do wanna see what I got, stay tuned, let's get into it. The first thing that I got was this stretched round canvas. I think this is the canvas that we are going to be painting on today. I think it looked really cool. And I got some gesso because I have never used gesso. <laughs> I've never really used canvas much. So I'm going to gesso the canvas with this acrylic gesso, hoping that it will work for gouache, which is what I actually plan on painting with. I also got this black canvas. It is a nine by 12 black canvas. I figured one of the two of these ought to come out pretty good if you know one of them doesn't. So maybe we could try it on both. If the first one comes out good and I'm satisfied with it, I will save this for another video or a different time. But if it does come out, if it doesn't come out good, then I've got a backup. The rest of what I got isn't going to be used in this video, but I will share it with you anyway. I got a new palette knife because I've been using a palette knife for gouache more often recently, especially for taking the paint out of the little tubes. So I got those. I got a new palette, a new porcelain palette. I love these things and I just don't have enough of them. So I wanted a new one. I also got these little embossing tools, which are like little dotters. I actually think I'm gonna use this more for my nails. I love doing like little patterns on my nails. And so I think that this will just make it really easy to do like a polka dot pattern. And I'm so excited for these. And then the last thing that I got were these little mini canvases. Look how cute these are, you guys. I'm definitely, spoiler alert, gonna do a video where I paint like miniature landscapes. And I am so psyched for these. So yeah, that concludes the art haul. Let's hop into the finger painting. Just to give you guys an idea of why I'm doing this video and what the purpose of the painting is, I have this in my bathroom normally. It is just a canvas and it has the lyrics from the song Pushing Back the Dark by Josh Wilson. I love it, but I made it so long ago before I ever started painting and I would really like a better looking canvas for the bathroom. I want it to feature purple, I want it to feature blue, and I'm thinking I might try to do kind of like an abstract cityscape. So that's just the background of why we're doing this video. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and try to gesso this. Uh, unfortunately, like the largest brush that I have is this one. It is a one inch brush. So let's see how well that goes, but I'm gonna gesso it and then I'm gonna let it dry completely before I start on the painting. As you can see, the surface has a decent layer of gesso on it. I managed to get it all over my nice wooden block, so I'm gonna try to get some of it off and then I will let this dry completely. And then probably tomorrow, we will do the finger painting. All right, it is the next day. My canvas is nicely primed, ready to go, hopefully. I'm gonna try to use my Arteza gouache for this and I'm gonna use the new palette that I bought. And I also have here a cup of water and just a towel to wipe my hands off on while I go. So I took all my jewelry off. I've got a shirt that I don't mind getting paint on. And so I'm gonna just start kind of roughing out the basic abstract shape that I want and then we'll go from there. My first battle was simply getting the paint onto the palette. As you guys know, if you saw my pet peeves video, I hate opening Arteza tubes. They're the worst, they don't open well, and it is so frustrating. I ended up having to cut the bottom of this really nice pink shade off, so I ended up having to use like most of this paint because I have no other way to store it. Pain in the neck, but at least in the end, I think the results are great. This process was so much fun. I absolutely loved the freedom of painting this abstract scene and just using my fingers to 
get the paint on there. It was so different from the grind of the paintings and kind of art that I normally do, which tends to be rather realistic. I like to paint realism. It's just my favorite. So to paint this really abstract scene was a kind of like a breath of fresh air. It, there was no pressure, there was no nothing. I just wanted to make it look aesthetically pleasing and just make something that I would like to have hanging on my wall, which honestly took so much pressure off of me. It was so much fun and I would highly recommend if you need like a break, if you are having a bout of art block or something, this is a really great exercise to like get paint on paper or paint on canvas in this case and have fun with art without having any sort of pressure with like the finished piece being good, etc. As you can see, it is quite messy. I ended up getting paint on my phone, on my desk, um, not on my floor happily, uh, but the paint did end up kind of staining my hands for a couple of days as well. So if you're, you know, worried about that or whatever, just be aware it is messy as you would probably expect but it is also really fun and I think that you can get some really cool textures using this method as well. Personally, I found that vertical strokes ended up working a lot better, but the paint would mix on the canvas and it would just look really cool. It gave me some really unexpected results and honestly, some color mixes that I don't think that I would have ever seen or gotten to use with my normal watercolor or wash technique. So far, I'm actually so impressed with how this is turning out. I didn't really have a concrete idea in my head, but I'm not mad at this. I do want to fix some of the purple once it dries. I want to fix some of the black when it dries, but I kind of like the like abstract strokes up, so I'm going to kind of try to continue the abstract strokes up toward the sky so that it's not like horizontal and then vertical, so that it's kind of just all vertical, if that makes any sense. And then the plan for the yellow is to use it as kind of like little lights on in the city. Another really fun part of this painting was experimenting with how dry the painting underneath was and kind of bringing out some more paint mixing in that way. So leaving some of the paint on the canvas wet and waiting for some of it to dry and then experimenting with the layers from there. Because this isn't acrylic, it's gouache, it reactivates with itself. So. Um, the paint, you know, dissolves with itself and it reactivates the layers below, which I found super fun in painting because I was able to just bring down some more of those dark blues and have more of them kind of permeate the surface than I would have if I, th if I were using an acrylic paint or um, a paint that just dried and didn't reactivate. It was a lot of fun and I think that this technique is something that I kind of want to try with normal painting. I think it would be interesting to see um, you know, with a brush and on paper, how this looks, or if it's really only, you know, on canvas and with my fingers that I can achieve this technique. I think that a background like this would look so cool behind a portrait or something else that I was trying to paint. So I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more, perhaps in my sketchbook. And I think that this piece was just really inspiring and helped to open my eyes to a new technique. It was really fun painting these windows with my pinky here. I didn't like how they were at first because they were just little dots, but then as soon as I started smearing the paint down, oh my gosh, it looked so much better. And I think that it really was in keeping with the theme of the background, which had more again of those vertical strokes. So I think that in the end, the little paint smears for the windows kind of looked really cool and actually I was told it almost looks like a rainy cityscape like it is raining very heavily outside so in part I think I agree with that like a rainstorm at sunset where you can just barely see the sun over the horizon setting underneath the clouds so personally I really liked it and I thought that it was a lot of fun and I think that in the end I did end up with a piece that I'm really happy with and can't wait to display in my house so that was the goal and that's what I achieved and I'm I'm really happy with it please let me know what you think about this painting down below I'd really love to know um, again personally I love it so <laughs> do you think that this looks better or worse than my normal paintings if you've seen any of my videos before which reminds me to tell you to please like the video if you did like it. 
please subscribe to this channel if you're interested. I post new art videos every Tuesday. Additionally, uh, I would just be interested, again, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below as I would like to do a Q&A at some point in the future. Also, let me know if you have ever tried finger painting yourself, if this was something that you know, a lot of people do that I'm just completely unaware of. Um, personally, I've seen a lot of people do this in like art classes to get looser strokes and just generally have fun with paint. And I 100% agree with the methodology. I think that it is so much fun. And again, I highly recommend that if you've never done this, you give it a try because it is a really enjoyable process. You get a really cool result from it. And like for me, it might spark your creativity even further. And so I just want to pass those nuggets along whenever I get a burst of inspiration or creativity. I think that that's something important to share with my art community so that you guys can have that same inspiration as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll leave some other videos here in case you're interested in checking out more of my work. And with that, I hope that you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!